Doom Eternal is almost over, and by that I mean, like, completely over. Technically, Doom Eternal ended on October 26 when Update 6.66 released because that was the last big content drop, but then again, you could technically count Season 6 of Battlefield 2.0 as the end since it's the last time we got any original content, or you could even argue that the game will never be over because the Battle Mode seasons will presumably infinitely repeat, but whatever. We are not here to discuss technicalities or previous content updates in today's video, we're actually here to talk about the final content update for Doom Eternal that's coming really soon. And I want to be absolutely clear with you so we have zero misconceptions, this is barely content. Like this hardly fills the definition of actual, worthwhile content, but it will possibly bring something into the game that quite a few of you may find worthwhile, so I guess we'll go with it. This very small but still possibly worthwhile update is what I assume to be the last official bit of content that we'll ever get for Eternal. With how things usually go, though, I'll be making this video about how it's the end, then we're going to come out and announce 6 new expansion packs and a master level campaign, but as things currently stand, this will be it. As far as I'm aware, nothing else will be added aside from a possible bug fix, which probably won't be substantial enough for me to cover. So, you've probably been asking, what content am I even talking about? I mean, as far as you're probably aware, nothing has been announced, so am I just rambling about nothing? Well, something is actually planned to release next week on Thursday, September 1st, but it's been so long since we've talked about it that I'd assume most of you have probably completely forgotten about it. Don't worry about that, though, everyone forgets about stuff, so I'm just gonna quickly remind you that all the way back in May of this year, they announced and released the Doom Eternal Summer Mega Event. On the Slayer's Club promo materials, it clearly states that the huge combo event will be lasting from May 26 up until September 1st, which is next week. The end of the Summer Mega Event means that a Fall Mega Event will likely be coming to deliver Eternal's final repeat event. But wait, before you roll your eyes and groan about Eternal's last bit of real content being more repeats, there's a fairly big possibility that this event includes the Doom 64 event, and there's a guarantee that it'll include the Halloween 2021 event. Despite being Eternal's final two original events, they're both insanely popular and I know that a lot of you missed those, so this may be your chance to finally grab them. And I say that it may be your chance, because there's no certainty that the Doom 64 event will be released with this. It's a fall-themed event, so the Halloween event is essentially guaranteed, but there's no telling how we're gonna do this. You'll probably recall that three older events became Prime Gaming Packs instead of repeat events, and there's a serious chance that those three are bundled in with this Halloween event and the Doom 64 event is left out. There's also a serious chance that the Halloween and 64 events will be the only repeats present here and the Prime stuff will just never be released again. The third option I see here is them running all five remaining repeats together, with the event concluding at the end of the year. I see the second and third options as the most likely, because I assume that they are beyond tired of creating extremely long repeats to drag the game's lifespan out even further. They're probably just ready to completely and utterly cut Eternal off, aside from the infinitely repeating battle mode stuff, and I kinda don't blame them. The game obviously won't be updated anymore past this point, and I mean, they're working on their next title, so it's like, why keep going? Having to do two or more repeats after this would be kind of a pain, so I don't really see why they would do more than just one. I guess we're gonna see what's up next on Thursday, but as it stands, I'm pretty confident that they won't be doing anything else after this final mega event. I am kinda curious to know what you guys think we're gonna include in the event, so leave a comment down below telling me what you think. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on any Doom or Quake news, like upcoming updates, remasters, mod support, or any news on a new game, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. I am very thankful for all of the recent support I've been getting, and I genuinely really appreciate you guys. Anyways, that's really all I have to say for today's video, so thank you all for watching. Until next time.